Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking neon glow text smoke effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 5 seconds. Press OK. Once we have that, then what we need to do is we need to create a new text layer and I'm going to write my word in here, create. Now the font that I'm using is the Holygate Signature Demo font, which you can find in the description. And then once I'm happy with my text, I'm just going to align it to the center of my composition. I'm also going to grab the rotate tool and I'm just going to rotate it slightly. Now I need to move this anchor point to the middle of my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold command or control, double click this pan behind anchor point tool and that will move it in the center of your composition. So once you're happy with that, then we can move on to the glow so we can take the visibility off. So I'm just gonna create a new solid and I'm gonna call this solid Saber. So in order for this effect to work, you need to download a Video Copilot free effect or free plugin called Saber. So once you've done that and you've installed it, then you'll be able to continue on with this tutorial. So once we have Saber on our Saber layer, what we need to do is we need to change a few of the settings. We need to change the glow intensity. We need to bring that back down to about 20% and we need to change the core size to about two. Then we need to open up Customize Core and we're just gonna change the Saber or the core type to text and we're gonna change the text layer to whatever you've got in here. And cool, now you've got some really cool, nice glowing neon text. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to set the end size to zero and now we need to start animating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the start offset. Make sure you're on the first keyframe. I'm gonna bring that up to let's say 100 and then I'm gonna move forward in time to about two seconds and then I'm gonna bring it down to zero. So now if you've done that correctly, you will see that you've got this really cool like text opening kind of intro kind of vibes happening here. And that's looking pretty cool, but we're gonna add more to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come halfway at around about one second and we are going to click on the end offset. Then I'm gonna press U on my keyboard to bring up my keyframes and I'm gonna make sure that I'm at my last keyframe, which is at two seconds. And I'm gonna bring it back down to zero. And then once I've done all of that, then I can go and easy ease all of my keyframes. Now, if you find that the animation is going too fast or you want more of the text to appear, you can move this over and you will get more of the text appearing. Or if you want to move this over a bit and get the animation going for longer, you can. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate this by pressing Command or Control D. And then we need to move 10 frames forward so on Mac it's shift command and the left arrow and I can uh, move that layer to there if you're on computer if you're on a Windows PC it is uh, shift and page down and once you've done that the next thing you need to do is you need to change the blend mode to screen so now if you don't see it you need to press this button down here toggle switches so now that I've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the colors. So here I am in Color Hunt. I've chosen this color palette. So I'm just gonna be picking these three colors for the three duplicates of the glow. Now you're free to use any colors that you like, but I'm choosing those colors from Color Hunt. So once you've got two of those duplicates down, we're just gonna repeat the same process again. So we're gonna move forward 10 frames. We're gonna offset that first layer and then I'm gonna go to Color Hunt to change that color. Cool. So now I've got all of those three colors in that neon text and that's looking really nice. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to duplicate our text layer and we're gonna move that all the way to the top and I'm just gonna turn the visibility back on. So once I've got that, then what I need to do is I'm gonna put a gradient ramp on that text layer and I'm gonna choose the colors from Color Hunt as well. So here I am in Color Hunt and I'm gonna go for maybe these two colors here. Cool. So now I'm just gonna move where the ramp starts. So I'm just gonna put the darker color maybe, maybe somewhere over there. So it starts off, you know, pretty light and then it gets a little bit darker towards the end. 
So now what we need to do is we need to animate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect called linear wipe. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the wipe angle to negative 100. And then what we are going to do is roughly at around about one second in time, we're going to set the stopwatch for the transition completion. So I'm going to set that to about 80. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press U to bring up all of my keyframes. And I'm going to move forward to probably maybe around there so two and a half seconds and i'm just going to bring that down to let's say 20 percent and i'm going to really increase the feather to let's say 150 and so now you can also easy ease those keyframes and if we preview that you can see that now the text kind of fills in the rest of the glow now if it moves too fast you can always adjust some of these things as well or you can extend them if you like so find you know what works with you so i'm going to move it just to a little bit past two seconds so that's looking pretty cool so now once we have all of that we need to pre-compose all of that so we're going to right click pre-compose we're going to call it text and now we are going to work on the background so to create the background we need to create a solid and we're going to call that bg and we're just going to put it underneath and then what we're going to do is i'm just going to duplicate that and i'm going to call this fractal and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for the effect called fractal noise so once i've got fractal noise on here i'm going to change the contrast bring it down to 80 and then what I'm going to do is open up the transform settings, untick uniform scaling, bring up the width to about 400, bring up the height to let's say 250. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the evolution settings. So I'm going to hold option on Mac or alt on PC and I'm going to click on that stopwatch to bring up the expressions down here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write time time so that's asterisk 150 and so now if you've done that correctly let's take off the text layer you can see what we have here and so that's animating pretty nicely but we're also going to add something else over here so i'm going to make sure that i hold option or alt and click on this stopwatch for offset turbulence and i'm going to write this uh, expression so the first thing is going to be value and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to open bracket i'm going to type zero and then i'm going to write plus time times 100 comma value and then we'll put one in there and then we'll end the bracket at the end so now if you've done that correctly now you will see that it moves from left to right and that looks pretty good but we can make it look even better so the first thing that we're going to do is i'm just going to bring up t for opacity and drop that down to about five percent and now it looks pretty cool for smoke but what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that one more time we're going to change the blend mode to screen and now what we're going to do is we're going to change a few things so i'm going to press e twice to bring up all of my uh, expressions and i'm going to change the time at the bottom to let's say 100 and then i'm also going to change the time over here to let's say 50 and this just randomizes it a little bit more so now i've got like a little bit more of a pulsating with the smoke we're also going to change a few other things as well so if i come over here to transform i'm just going to retick uniform scaling and then i'm just going to bump that up really really big let's go even bigger than that so 1000 and so now you've got this cool looking smoke that kind of evolves over time. Now you can keep on going and keep on duplicating if you like. But I'm going to leave it there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ellipse tool. And then I'm going to hold command and double click to create a mask. Now make sure you actually have created a mask. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the mode to subtract. 
and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open up the feather and i'm going to set the feather to let's say 500 and then on that mask what i'm going to do is i'm just going to look up the effect called curves and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click one point and i'm just going to put it until the edges are quite dark so it looks something like that now you can play around with some of those settings but when you turn the visibility for the text back on and once you set it to screen now you have that text in the background with the neon glow going off and that looks pretty cool so the final thing that we can do is we can pre-compose all of that so we'll just call it final and then i'm going to add a, another adjustment layer and I'm going to search for the effect called noise. So I'm going to put the noise at around about 8%. And then the only other thing I'm going to do to this is to set a scale animation. So I'm going to press the stopwatch, press S for scale. And I'm going to move to the end of my timeline. And I'm just going to bring that up to let's say 115. Perfect. And so if you preview that back, now you have this cool animating neon smoke text coming at you and it's looking pretty nice. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.